Right, hi guys. Today is a big strap review. I'm going to be doing the that review that I promised for weeks on, on end and I finally got round to it. A quick note though, one of the straps, the Sun Sniper Pro, had to be recorded quite a while back, over a month I think now, before the photography show because the client needed it back for the show so I had to record it quickly, get, get it out of the way and it's no, only now that I've had a chance to do the rest of the strap. So that was recorded earlier. I wasn't able to give it a full review that I wanted to because I didn't have the time. I was I only had it for a day or two and I was caught up with other things. But you get the gist of what the strap is like. Now, let's hit the strap. What I'm going to do to save all this messing around in the studio, I'm going to pop over to the park. My friend's going to meet me, Pete. And we're going to review all the straps in the real world. Going to give it a quick testing, see what it's like. I was going to do some silly tests, some but it's going to be too long because I've got, I think, seven straps in total or eight, and it's going to be way too long for people to be interested in watching it. So we did to do some tests in the park, then we'll come back to the studio to give some more overview. All right, so let me just change into my official photography in a click shirt, and we'll pop over to a place called Cedars Park. Okay, see you in a moment. Morning guys, I'm here in Cedar Park in Cheson and at this stage of the review I'm going to look at the, the straps and see how they handle in a real world situation. So the first one is my favourite strap. I'm not biased but I'm going to say anyway, it is my favourite strap. It's the Carry Speed Extreme. Now, you'll get a full rundown when I'm in the studio of what the strap looks like. I'm just going to give you a quick overview. On this strap, to start off with, you have a number of clips. Now these clips have a two-handed mechanism where you're gonna have to use two hands if you wanna undo it, so it's very secure. No one's gonna undo the strap without you knowing whether it's behind you because you need two hands. So you have a clip here at the front and clip there which removes it. So this is secure and that's on all the clips. Also, because it's extreme, it's meant for extreme sports climbing you want to keep your camera safe this has an underarm strap let me go back a bit an underarm strap which keeps it secure to your body so i've taken this everywhere with me and a couple of times i've done some silly things and i've slipped and nearly fallen down a stream on a mountain this kept my camera safe by my side it didn't even touch the water or the rocks i'm happy with the camera speed extreme so what else does it do it's got a very solid metal uh, uh, attachment here with the, the quick release plate. Now this cannot, again, cannot be removed very easily. You have to know how to do it. And I'll show all this in the studio. But basically, what you're looking at is a very secure strap. It's got an extra strap that leads on the slider you, that you attach to here. I've not attached it properly. so. There's a lot of thought gone into the Carry Speed Extreme. They've thought about everything, how to keep it secure, how to make it fast. There's nothing slow about this strap and it stays in place. It's extremely comfortable with the rubber webbing and because it's vented, you don't get, you don't get sweat. If you're in the hot weather, it doesn't sweat on your shirt, causes a lot of perspiration. You also can, it's got a simple pull adjustment. If you want the camera next to you, you can pull it on the buckle. I'll show you from a distance. And release it, pull, release it. Everything is easy. What else can I say about this? Nothing much. I think it's a fantastic strap. I'm gonna go into full detail when I'm in the studio, but this is just a quick overview. You can carry a very heavy camera and it doesn't, pull in your shoulder because of flexibility so once again let's have a quick look this is fast they claim it to be one of the fastest strap in the world we'll find out later as I'm joined with my friend Pete he's going to demonstrate them with you let's call Pete over Pete's here with his Sony and his Canon 5D Mark II say hello Pete good morning right we're going to demonstrate the best four straps in a shootout 
don't worry, no one will be hurt in this situation. Or maybe Pete's pride. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but we'll see later on. Anyway, I'll move on to the next strap and see what's coming up next. Okay. Right. I'm sure you're not gonna... Right, guys, I'm sure you're not gonna uh, not realize which one I've got here. It's, the, it's got a big eye. Yes, it's the black rapid strap. All the photography blogs, that's all they ever talk about. Black rapid this, black rapid that. But is it really the best strap out there? Well, I've got one here. It's the Black Rapid Curve. Uh, it's very simple. Some people like that. So it's, you haven't got a lot of complicated locks and uh, buckles. It's to the point. You've got a, a clip here which you can adjust and hold the camera in a certain position. So when you're not using it, you can clip it in position and know that it's right by his side. Most quick straps do that. Uh, it's got a, a nicely padded neoprene uh, padded area of the of the strap. It's uh, basically that's it really. Oh, the metal part, the attachment is nice and solid. Solid metal. It's got us uh, to undo it. You're gonna have to screw the clip to un take it off. So that's good. It's got us a, a, a safety mechanism there, and it's well padded. The attachment. It's got a nice padded washer, so you know it's going to grip to your camera. And positive again, you don't need a coin or anything like that. You can tighten it with your hand. All positives. Well thought out strap. Is it fast? Yes, it is. It does move a little bit, but nothing much really. It's back in place. So this is a very fast strap. Similar to my carry speed, another one that claims to be the fastest, but who knows? But the main thing is, I'm not really, don't really care if it's not the fastest or it is the fastest, it's how it feels. And this feels really comfortable. It is a well-made and solid strap. It doesn't have a steel wire going through, but what Black Rapid do do is they can sell, they sell a sleeving. So if you are traveling in areas where there is a possibility someone's gonna slash your strap, you can buy a wire line sleeving which goes over the strap and that will make it secure and in many ways you can buy that fit another strap if it's the same uh, uh, width so that's a positive black rapid very fast good mechanisms very simple so it might suit a lot of people who like that particular type of strap anyway let's move on to the next one right guys i'm now back with the harmer quick shoot strap now they have two models this is the singular one you have a single row of uh, padding this is for compact system cameras but they also have a double row of padding for DSLRs but given that this is a uh, mirrorless camera it's fine it's actually I was a bit uh, what's the word skeptical of this sort of padding it's a uh, it's particularly patented by Harmer but I've got to say, this is incredibly comfortable. It's nicely, it fits nicely on the shoulder. And no matter if you pull, it doesn't hurt at all. So that's a really good thing. Because if you're carrying a camera with a heavy lens, you want to be able to walk around all day and to feel comfortable. So what has this got? It's got a strap, a hook at the top where you can adjust the, the length of the strap. It has... A clip here where you can stop the strap from moving so you can hold it in position like most of the quick straps and also what it has here is also is similar to the carry speed it is a two-handed buckle where you have to use two hands as a security mechanism to remove it so not someone can't just come along press the two side one and run up with your camera it also has a swivel mechanism there you get a closer look in the studio and that allows it to f swing more freely so it, not, it doesn't get tangled up. It's always in the right position. Now, this is a quick shoot strap. Let's see how quick it is. It's pretty quick. Let me just adjust it because I tightened it. Now, uh, regarding to it, where it sits in place, I'll have a look. Yeah, it's staying in place. So that's a good thing. This is a good strap, it's very light. I took it with me to Barbados instead of my carry speed just to test it. 
and I enjoyed it. I found it very comfortable and it's a great strap if you just want something light. See, a quick point on my carry speed, it's a great strap, but it's damn heavy. It, you know you're carrying that strap in your bag. This, you wouldn't even know it's there, so that's a positive. So that's the Hummer quick shoot strap. If you've got a DSLR, they do a double row one with a patented air cell technology, which is this padded stuff here. So that's the Hummer quick shoot strap. Let's move on to the next one. Well, the pack speed strap has something very unique to it. And what it has, let me go back. Again, oh, this is just a quick overview. The rest will be done in the in the studio. It has two high tensile steel wires running through it. And I can assure you, no one is gonna slash through that. There is no way, but if by chance they do get through one, there's no way they're gonna get through two. So that makes this a very secure, very safe strap if you're traveling abroad. Great for a travel flow. But how comfortable is it? It's okay. It's got a nice wide padding. So I can't complain about that. So it's well secure, it's very basic. It has an adjustment up here and of an easy, very easy uh, sort of attachment. It's not a quick release plate, just a, a screw with a, with a hand or not a, a, a base that you can get hold of it. You don't need a coin, even though it has got a, a slit in the middle to put a coin or screwdriver but you can tighten it basically with your hand, which is very useful, because often that is one problem with my carry speed, you have to use a coin if you're gonna attach it. So let's see how good it is. Now, that's where the problem is. Watch this, we wanna do fast, it's out of place. It's very annoying that you have to, it doesn't stay in position each time. You can't, you can't do it without it moving. So that is incredibly annoying because now it's out of place, it's uncomfortable. So you're gonna be constantly adjusting yourself to uh, put it back in place, especially if you've got a heavy camera. There is no way you're gonna be able to just leave it there. It's just uncomfortable, annoying. Yes, it is safe. No one's gonna slash through it, but would I want this? I don't think so. But I'm not gonna give a full judgment yet. We'll do that at the end, but this is a definite uh, con against it, that it does m move, but it doesn't claim to be the fastest strap in the world either, so you could do it in slow motion, but unfortunately it still moves. So that's the Pax Safe camera strap. I'm gonna move on to my next one. We're gonna rush through these because I've got a lot to do. Let's go. Right guys, another strap. Now this is from a very innovative company called B-Glide. Uh, and what I've got is their big glider strap. It doesn't claim to be the fastest strap or anything like that, but it is a very strong strap. The strap is very flexible near prime. It does feel comfortable. I can imagine carrying a very heavy camera strap on my shoulder and not feeling anything. But I'm gonna just see how it glides. It's not too bad. It's not nothing like the, it's not like the Black Rapid, but it, <laughs> oops. Not sure if I've got this right. Let me just set it up right first. Right, that's it. It moves fast, but it's not a super fast strap, but I don't think it's meant to be. What I think is happening here, the size of it I think is made more for your heavy camera. So I will try it again in the studio with a heavy lens, heavy camera, just see how fast. It has actually go fast now, now that I've got it right. Do it again. Yeah, that's fast. So uh, it's me adjusting it. So what was, what do you have on this strap? Right? As I said, you've got the comfortable neoprene padded area. You've got a buckle here, which you can release. It hasn't got no two-handed mechanism, so that's one thing. You have a very strong, it's made out of plastic, but very sturdy, quick release plate and like a tripod. You can just do that and remove your camera. So that's really handy because it allows the flexibility of taking it off the strap whenever you want. Underneath the clip, you have you can loose tighten it so it doesn't move anywhere, or you can take it off and that will slide. So I quite I quite like this strap. I know it's well made. I can sense it by 
at how it's constructed. And I know if I had a heavy DSLR, it would feel good. In fact, given Pete, Pete's got his uh, Canon 5D Mark II, I'm gonna quickly stop this and we'll try it with the Canon 5D, see how it feels. Right, I'm back, back with the B-Grip, B-Glider camera strap. I've put Pete's 5D Mark II on there with a, what lens is this, Pete? 300, 18 to 200. So it feels, doesn't feel like I've got a camera on the strap. It feels so comfortable, and that's with a lot heavier camera than my GH1. So that is a really plus. I thought it was made for a heavier camera because you can tell from its construction. It's so solid, it's very wide, and you know it's, it's probably not for a compact camera. So let's see how it goes. Don't worry about this because I'm not going to take off Pete's strap just for quick demonstration. It actually feels really very good, and very light. So that, but one thing it does do is move. Now that could be an adjustment issue. I'll try it later on. But basically, all in all, this is a very comfortable strap. And if you've got a heavy DSLR, it's probably one I would recommend. Okay, it's back to the next one. Okay, well you've seen the good ones, so I had to give it a try. And this is an eBay cheapie. Three pound, I think it's 3.99 on eBay. And it's a copy of the Black Rapid. It's a quick rapid with a K. Uh, so you know it's gonna be a copy. So what's it got? How does it feel? Well, it's slightly different. It's not across the shoulder. It's a shoulder quick shoot strap. It's all right, but I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't feel confident running around with it. It's got, a nice metal plate you can screw on with your hand. It's got a metal buckle. None of, the, none of this is constructed as you might expect to Black Rapid standard or any of the others. But it's $3.99, so you can't expect much. It's got a, a clip here so you can hold your camera in place. So if I don't want it moving, I can clip it there. And it's got the same at the back, so you've got two clips. So you can clip them both around the buckle. And let me do that. And that one right so it's really this quick strap vacay is really quite comfortable if you like these sort of straps I don't I don't find it secure but it does have a little uh, accessory pouch there for uh, what you might call it uh, memory cards it's got a lot of stuff uh, that keeps it Okay, so maybe that type of strap isn't for you because it is hanging on your shoulder, so you make up your own mind. Anyway, we now have one last strap, and this is what you might call if you watch those TV programs where they have the wild card. This is a wild card strap. Now, I'm not going to give you any more clues, I'm just going to go try it on, and it might be for you, especially if you have no. That's it, I'm not going to tell you anymore. Just wait a second. Right, guys, I'm back with the wild card. Now, it's not exactly a strap, but some of you out there might prefer this type of camera, well, I'm going to call it camera strap, to the conventional sling strap or on your shoulder. Now, it's from Think Tank. It comes in this little bag, and what it is, is, let me get back, it's two straps that you can hook onto your backpack so it allows them free you're not caught up with a strap again with a backpack they attach it right onto backpack buckles that's if your backpack has don't worry about it, lens falling apart my gh1 uh, you, if, as long as your backpack has buckles needs to attach on it's fine now they're made from sturdy metal the buck the hooks the webbing you can tell is good quality it would be from think tank and you've got a little clip at the bottom which is attached by a spring spring clip that you press it together and it comes off or you put together and you put this back it's got my fuji and i'm not going to drop my fuji uh, you've got a little spring attachment here push it together and it comes off so that's basically it. That's the strap from Think Tank. Now, it's very simple, simple basic, but it's a good alternative to a sling strap because 
There are a number of photographers out there who might have two cameras. You're not going to have two sling straps because they'll only get in your way. You can buy the, the body harness, but that looks a bit naff, as well as looking completely geeky and everyone noticing that you've got this thing on with two cameras. This is easy enough. At the right length, you pull it up. Let me put the bag down so you can pull it up this way. Or if you're ambidextrous, you can do it with two hands. Let me see, I'm not. Let me pull up, pull up. Great for wedding. That's what it, fantastic for wedding shooters. Uh, so I can't really fault it for what it is. It's just an alternative. It's the wild card in the selection to all the camera straps. I'm gonna call Pete over. We're gonna have a quick discussion on what he thinks because we're gonna pick two of the best. He's gonna pick two, I'm gonna pick two, and we're gonna have a shootout to see perhaps if they are the fastest, apart from this one. We're not gonna include that because this is a wild card. Anyway, Pete. So you've had a look at all the straps. Uh, Coming close a bit in the frame. Sorry, so, you don't worry. Oh, oh, the humanity of it. My, my poor GH1, anyway, uh, so. Out of the different straps, you've got the Black Rapid, you've got the Bee Glider, you've got the Harmer strap, you've got the Pack Safe. We won't count these in. You've got the Carry Speed, which you can't choose because I'm choosing that. It's my strap, so that's out of bounds. But which two? Pick your two. Pick your two uh, weapons, and I'll pick mine. Two. Uh, well, yeah, two. Uh, one would be your Carry Speed. Well, you can't have that. So. No, no. But you see me pick two. two. <laughs> the two best ones are Carry Speeds. Carry Speed. Uh, yeah. And the black rapid because it's a bit plainer isn't it all? okay you haven't got loads and loads I of bits on it uh, convince you to take the black rapid uh, fake the one that they this to my camera i can't convince you um, to put your sony on that uh, your precious sony no give me a minute no no okay no. so pete's first choice is the black rapid let me just quickly uh, change the exposure guys because it, the sun keeps changing right so your second choice sir You've got the bee glider, you've got the hammer. I think the bee glider, bee glider feels really lovely. It yeah. feels really light. Yeah. But um, I think hammer. Yeah, hammer. You're going for the hammer. Drat. Hammer. I knew that. I knew he was going to go for that. That's the one I was going to go for. I should have yeah. got. I shouldn't have been a gentleman. You have really. the cheap one because you've got the best one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go for the pack safe. While it's incredibly uncomfortable when you're wearing it, I think it's fast enough to take on this character. What do you think? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna kit up. We're gonna, well, it's not a shoot to death, but you, some, either one, our pride's on the line here. So we'll see, we'll come back with the cameras, hooked up to our straps, okay. Open shot, you and you move a bit closer. Okay. Which way? This way? Yeah. Now I'm going to count one, two, three. Then, no, not on three, after three. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, wrong here. Is it recording? Yeah. Same here, hold it. Right, guys, just watch out for any cheating. You've been a judge in case he has to chum it out. Not that's on three, after three. three. That's, that's yes. one, two, three. Rapid. Then both claim to be the you fastest straps in the world. I know. Let's just put them to the two. test. Oh, we're going to go. Are you scared of me? Now I've got the wrong one. Right. We'll see. We'll see. Let me just do a quick quick demonstration. Well, one shot. Yes. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll as long see. as we get the first shot. Okay. It's we'll the see. first shot that counts. Um, we'll, we'll, see. Yeah. we'll look at it and see who we I'm serious now, on. guys. I've put my sunglasses on. I just want to look as cool as Pete since he's got his glasses on. So now we're going to take the, do the final draw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's make sure you come in shot, Pete. I'm a bit closer, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't get to. Right. One, two, three, then on four. Yeah. Are you going to say four? No, it'll be on deck. Right. Ready? Yes. Alright. One, two, three. Darn it! The Fuji didn't shoot. It looks like Pete <laughs> Pete did a test. <laughs> it didn't focus. It didn't focus. <laughs> it didn't focus. <laughs> Why didn't it focus on the first one? So, yeah. whether yeah. that is a... Oh, wait. Pete wants to call it a draw, so I'm going to try him one more time with the carry speed against the Black Rapid. This is do or die. Yeah. I think 
we should turn around and turn around. Turn around. Watch this guy because he is actually a shifty character. It could be me that's actually shifty. We'll see. All right, we'll turn around on four. Well, one, two, three, and turn around. Because no, I've got to get us in shots. So no, 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 you'd have to walk back. You have to stay in position. All right, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I can see you. Should have known he would have pulled that trick. It's the old Peter Room. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you with the next rest of the review. That's Pete for you. Come say goodbye, Pete. Goodbye. Could be your last goodbye after yeah, that. Lovely, thank yeah. You. All right then. See you later. The Back in the studio. By the way, the black record. Oh well. I think you can be the judge for that. Mind you, Sony is faster. Damn. All right. See you at the studio, guys. I didn't see you there. Well, I hope you liked the video. And if you want all the updates and when new videos come out, please do subscribe. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.